All right, boys and girls. Sorry I couldn't be with you today, but I know you're gonna have a good time doing this project. This is called Bad Hair Day, all right? And the project is done based on a favorite artist of mine, Romero Brito. Uh, I think some of us have talked about him. He's a pop artist. Uh, pop art is something that is bright colors, big, bold black lines, a lot of designs. Uh, Romero Brito is a Brazilian artist, but he lives here in the United States. He lives in Miami. He is alive, which is a plus. He's in his 40s. Uh, he does a lot of work for charities, which is one of the reasons I like him. And he does work that um, children like. It's very child-friendly. Um, it's very simple, but fun. It has a lot of movement to it, a lot of design to it. So I think you're going to really like it. So you should have a large piece of paper, 11 by 17. You've written your name on the back with your class code, don't forget. You're going to turn that paper over. You're going to put it portrait, just like mine is. Make sure you're not drawn on the side that has your name on it. And we're going to draw with pencil. And if you're ready, you're going to follow me. Everybody ready? Okay. Get your pencils. Paper's portrait down at the bottom uh about i don't know two inches maybe you're gonna put a dot not a big dot just a little dot from that dot you're gonna draw an angled line that angles up don't go to the side from that dot you're gonna angle to the other side so now we've got a really wide letter what letter have i got very good. We got a V. Okay. Oh, back to this line that we just did. From the top of that V, I want you to draw a line that goes straight and then stops. Don't go all the way to the top of the page. Okay. Now I want you to do a twin line over here. Remember, a twin line is one that looks just like it, but they don't touch. So straight up. Use your pencil to kind of measure if you stopped it in the right place. Okay, so nothing but straight and angled lines coming together at a point. Everybody good? Okay. All right, so now we're going to go down here. The first line that we drew, this angled line, find the halfway mark, and we're going to draw a line that goes straight down, but do not go off the page. If you went off the page, you raise back up a little bit. Okay. On the second angled line, find the center mark, make a twin line that goes straight down, stops at about the same spot. Again, don't go all the way to the bottom of the page. Okay. Everybody ready? This time your line's going to go off the page. Back to this line. This time we're going all the way off the page. Then we're going to come over here. All the way off the page. Has anybody guessed what we're drawing yet? We'll see. Alright, first curved line coming at you. Are you ready? Down here, the second line that we made. Right here. Curve it down like a smiley face. And then back up to meet there. Good? Alrighty. Up here, we're going to draw a line that goes straight across. Boom. And if it's not totally straight, don't worry about it. We're not getting a ruler out. It's okay if it's a little jaggy. No big deal. Again, this is called Bad Hair Day. So if you guess that we're drawing a person, you guessed right. Romero Brito draws very unique looking people. They have pointy chins, they have angled cheekbones, they have really interesting noses, and I know my fifth graders, we spent all that time learning how to draw realistic noses, and now I'm going to show you how to draw really pointy noses. It's crazy. But, I digress. Now we're going to draw some hair, and the hair is going to take up all the rest of the page. Are you ready? Alright, so down here, we're going to draw one line. That's wavy and goes off the page. Now don't make it teeny tiny wavy. 
And we're going to come up here. We're going to draw another line. It goes off the page. Now right here on this corner, give me a long line that goes up and off the page. Right here in the middle, another line that goes up and off the page. Make it touch there. Another line here, up and off the page. Where am I going to go next? Yep, to the corner. Up and off the page. Over here. Up and off the page, or out to the page. Am I going to go down here? Off the page. Crazy hair. Okay, now let's give them some bangs, okay? From one corner down, let's put some bangs there. Alright, this is a crazy, crazy looking person. But what are they missing? Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Okay? Now. We spent a lot of time in fifth grade learning how to draw realistic eyes, noses, and mouths. Forget all that. Well, don't forget it. Just don't use it for this. I'm going to show you some eyes. Boom. Well, fun, crazy eyes. They can have two eyes open. They can have two eyes closed. They can have one eye open, one eye closed, winking. Their eyes can be together. Any kind of eyes you want to draw. You don't have to copy what I'm doing up here. Any kind of eyes, but they go up here. Okay? So, any kind of eyes you want to draw, get it done. You want to give them eyebrows? Give them eyebrows. Okay? Here are your eyes to look at. Okay, noses. Again, Romero Brito did interesting, interesting noses. Here are some samples. Don't have to worry about it looking realistic, which is really, really cool. I kind of like this one that comes straight from the eyebrow. So I'm going to use my eyebrow that I drew, come down, come across. You do any kind of nose you want to do, okay? There they are, or make up your own. Okay, mouth. Make your mouth do whatever you want your person to do. They can be singing, they can be screaming, they can be yelling, they can be smiling, smirking, sticking their tongue out being silly, kissy facing, whatever you want. Just get a mouth on there. Any kind of mouth you want. Does not matter. Make up your own. Okay, now we are not finished yet. Because the very last thing you have to do, we are going to fill the hair with patterns. All kind of patterns, okay? But you're gonna do this with Sharpie. So put your pencils away, and your supply person is gonna get you Sharpies. You're gonna trace every pencil mark that you've already made with a Sharpie. Then, and only then, you're gonna go into every section of hair and you're going to start filling it in with designs, patterns. One design, one pattern in each section. You can put them really close together. You can spread them apart. But keep them in the section. And each section should be totally different. Can you use words, Miss Coker, you might ask? Why, yes, you could use words because when we repeat a word, it becomes a pattern. So if you have a favorite word, you could use it over and over and over and over 
and fill up that space with that word and it becomes a design or a pattern. Eventually, you will fill up your space. And it's okay if I only see the first couple of letters in that space. Eventually, every piece of hair will be filled up with a pattern. Once you have traced everything with Sharpie and you have filled every speck of hair with a pattern, then you may start coloring with crayons or color pencils. Crayons or color pencils. No markers. Got it? All right, remember light and dark value. Remember color slow and small. Do your best work. You're not gonna finish these today. You're gonna leave them with our sub. She's gonna leave them for me and we will pull them out and we will work on them again. Do your best work, be on your best behavior and make me proud of you. Thank you. Love you, see ya.